Hello freaks, this is Gray Hughes. I am doing an update on the golfer that was killed at Iowa State University or near Iowa State University on the Coldwater Golf Course. Her name was Celia Barkin Arazamina, 22, and she was killed by a barbarian, an absolute psychopath named Colin Richards, who was also 22. I thought maybe they knew each other, but I am not so sure now at all. I think that he was just a, a psycho who wanted to kill, and you'll hear information uh, related to that in this press conference right now. Now, when you're listening to the press conference, take note of the location where they said she was killed and where they found her body. It was almost exactly what we were saying. In fact, it is exactly what we were saying on the show last night for all of you who happened to watch. And that's what you get when you use logic and reason to come up with a theory and speculate on facts. That's what you get. You get real, close, accurate speculation. All right? So listen to this uh, video or watch it and keep in mind what they're saying. And at the end, I'll show you exactly where they were talking about and with proof. Coming today, as you can imagine, we have been busy in the last 24 hours and we would like to take this opportunity to bring everybody up to speed. First, our thoughts and prayers go out to the family and friends of Celia Barkin Arizamena. These are difficult times for them and we ask that you're respectful of their loss as they process what's happened. The Ames Police Department received a call at approximately 10.24 a.m. from Coldwater Golf Course located at 1400 South Grand Avenue yesterday morning. The report was that golfers had located a golf bag with no golfer around it in the fairway on number nine. Officers responded to the golf course and began to search for the missing golfer. At approximately 11.03 a.m., Coldwater staff alerted officers to a body found in the water uh, next to the number nine tee box. Officers did locate a body in the water and she was subsequently identified as Celia. She had been stabbed in the upper torso, head, and neck. During a search of the wooded area next to the golf course, officers located a subject who spoke of another individual living in the wooded area who had made statements about having an urge to rape and kill women uh, Sorry, we got a dog from the Boone County Sheriff's Department who also tracked a scent from the victim to the location in the wooded area. At approximately 2 p.m., officers were in the area of the camp when they encountered Colin Daniel Richardson with the date of birth of September 8, 1996. Richard, uh, Richards had several fresh scratches on his face consistent with a fight and he was attempting to conceal a laceration on his left hand. He was taken to the police department for questioning. Richard said that at some point he went to another address and bathed. The people at that location described Richards as disheveled and covered in blood, sand, and water. He left this residence with his clothes and a black backpack. During a uh, search of the tent and surrounding area, a black backpack was located with two pairs of shorts with stains that tested positive for the presence of human blood. A knife was also recovered from that location. As you may know, we have charged Richards with murder in the first degree, a class A felony. We must thank everyone who helped us so far, including the Iowa Department of Criminal Investigation, Iowa State University Police Department, Boone County Sheriff's Office, Okay, the rest of this is just going over thanking and so forth, and then they do question and answering, but the video cuts off before that. All right, so let's go back to where he's describing the location. Her golf course located at 1400 South Grand Avenue yesterday morning. The report was that golfers had located a golf bag with no golfer around it in the fairway on number nine. So let's go to Google Earth. Now, what I did to help visualize for everybody I'll make it north-south orientation, and then I put a, an overlay of the golf course from their website over the top of the Google Earth image, right? So there it is. And this is hole number nine right here. This is exactly what we were talking about last night. 
This is the only pond that stays there all year round, it looks like. All right, and there's a wooded area. Tactically, this is the only location that made a lot of sense. There's a little location right here that could have uh, been a spot, but right here, this makes a lot of sense. So I'm gonna take off the overlay. So just realize that's hole number nine. And let's go down there. This is exactly what we were talking about. The golf bag was somewhere on the fairway right there. And her body was right next to the tee box floating in this pond right here. And we speculated that the suspect perhaps came out of the wooded area right here. I just switched that over to 3D view and probably came out we even on the live I actually went down the path there and kind of came out through here through sort of the google earth 3d models that they have they're not perfect but i wonder if he lived in this wooded area back here there is woods right here though but this is a, a much bigger wooded area and there's a, even a park right there so he may have lived there perhaps even cross over this little footbridge right there and waited just waited for someone to walk by and killed her. You know, he's probably waiting for a woman as well. And stabbed her in the head, neck, and chest, it sounds like. Just an absolute barbarian. But as you can see, the description of where she was found is exactly what we have right here on Google Earth. I actually have the pin in the water next to the tea box on number nine okay so i don't know if that's why people like this channel or not but uh that's what we try to do is speculate based on the evidence presented and logic and reason now that's all i wanted to discuss on this one um, and i wanted to show you that the speculation that we came up with turns out to be accurate yet again and you know sorry if you don't like tooting my own horn, but occasionally I have to point out when we get it right. I'll always tell you when I'm wrong as well. But in this case, we had it right. Now, I don't know, again, if she knew the person at all, but uh, it's possible. I just don't think so now. I think it's less likely, just given what that officer said at the press conference. He made a few mistakes in there. I said he said Richardson at one point and he fixed it back to Richards and then he also was supposed to mention how the dog led them to the suspect first and you could tell that that one detective kind of glanced over at him when he didn't put that out there so there you have it and until next time everybody be safe out there